in the memory of late Mrs. Alka Hemant Patil. We are glad to present our audio articles for inspiring disabled persons to achieve greater heights in their career. Under the project of Client Service Department of National Association for the Blind, India, to empower the disabled in tribal, rural and semi-urban areas of our country. G. Jayaraman Assistant Professor Madras Christian College, Madras A scholastic background plus his own creditable performance as a student made G. Jayaraman decide to plan his future as an educationist. Son of a college professor, he lost his sight when he was eight years old. Educated in the government school for the blind, he passed his matriculation from there. Joining the Madras Christian College, he took both the BA and the MA degrees. Next, with the help of the National Association for the Blind and the USCFI, he proceeded to the Perkins School for the Blind, Massachusetts, USA, to obtain his diploma in teaching the blind, winning the Henry Holman Prize in the process. After a short teaching spell at Palyamkoti and Madurai, he joined the Madras Christian College in 1969 this time as a lecturer. He has now become the assistant professor in the English department there. Jayaraman fortunately did not have any difficulty in getting his present appointment as he was an ex-student of the same college, also because the college previously had had a blind lecturer in the person of Rev. Robert Harrington, but chiefly because the principal was a man of imagination and understanding with a mind open to conviction. In the beginning, Jayaraman was entrusted with smaller responsibilities and when he was he was given full responsibility found competent to handle them and duly confirmed. To be a success at the job, says Jayaraman. Stress should be laid on the normal qualities and not on the handicap to show what a blind man can do and not what he cannot. His students have come to accept him as no different from any other teacher because he does not permit them to think of him as a handicapped person. He prepares his lessons carefully beforehand and is always willing to help his students even outside the classroom. He has developed an ear to trace trouble spots and has given his students fixed seats so he can identify them. He is fortunate, he says, in having helpful colleagues and a sympathetic management. His other qualifications include the possession of the Rashtriya Bhasha Visharat degree and the Government of Madras Certificate in Indian Music. Steadily growing number of RG, Jayaraman is one of the educated blind who have succeeded in gaining a foothold in the teaching profession, in spite of stiff competition from outside, entirely on their individual merit. Chandrakant Kadam Business, Parimal Files Bombay Two eyes are the trademark of the Parimal Files Manufacturing Unit, run by Chandrakant Pandurang Kadam, because he feels that eyes are the most precious things in this world. The tragedy when he lost his vision was well nigh unbearable. Wrong treatment by inexperienced medical students at a routine medical checkup when applying for the post of a clerk in the municipal corporation led to irritation and subsequent complete deterioration of eyesight. At that time in 1966 he was a youngster studying in the Inter. Commerce class of K.C. College, Bombay. I wept and wept, he says, and spent sleepless nights and even tried to commit suicide. Gradually, with the help of friends he came out of this period of frustration and in 1969 he opened a small newspaper distributing agency. In the beginning he fared well but in 1971 he suffered a loss of nearly hours 4,000 as the young boys selling the papers ran away with the money. At the same time, his mind was distracted by the uncertainty of his marriage to a blind man's daughter, as his prospective father-in-law died just one month before the wedding. The lady did marry him a few months later. She was working as a policewoman in the local force and is at present with the CID she came to me, says Kadam, as a great support and companion to me in my woeful life. In 1970 Kadam had completed the pre-employment course at the workshop for the blind and obtained a job at Vikroli. One day going to work, he slipped off the railway platform and fell on the tracks. 
When his wife came to know of it through others, she insisted on his giving up the job. Kadam, however, was ashamed to live on his wife's earnings a and desperately sought for way out. One lucky day he met Mr. Indranil Tavde, president of the Ratnagiri Forum, a which district from Kadam himself hails. Mr. Tavde offered to set him up in a business with the help of the forum members. Kadam had some technical knowledge of manufacturing files and he asked for Rs. 5,000 to start a unit. Mr. Tavde arranged for the loan through the Maharashtra Small Scale Industries Development Corporation, the Bank of India, and the Bank of Maharashtra. The unit was inaugurated in 1974. Kadam has five operating machines, four men working under him, and a young relative to help with accounts and correspondence. His clients regular the Indian Express, Mackinon McKinsey, Sarah Services among others. Last year, he had an order for 10,500 files from the LIC. This year for 10,000 files from the Bombay Municipal Corporation. He has paid back almost half his loan. Kadam is confident of expanding his business considerably, but the question is lack of adequate space the premises where his machines are installed may have to be relinquished, that's his biggest worry now. However, the smiling Deenpal cheeked Kadam has learned to face his troubles. He may be plagued with problems, but he the has acquired knack of getting around them. Ferro's Karkaria Packing Department Tata Mills Bombay Valiant indeed is his spirit, as great an inverse proportion to his diminutive height, which is perhaps a little above three feet, for though Ferro's Karkaria is blind. Deaf and crippled, he has stood up squarely to the blows of fate. Pharaohs entered the world with his two legs joined together. When he was five, a major operation set him on his feet, but the weight of the encasing plaster was so so excessive that it affected his hearing and caused him to be stunted for life. Walking remains for him a major exertion. As if this was not enough, in his teens he lost his vision first in one eye due to a cataract, and later in the other due to a flying cricket ball. He had elementary education at St. Helena School, Pune, up to the second standard after which he attended a class for the blind, run by two English ladies. Here he picked up English braille and music. Later on he joined the Pune School for the Blind, learned caning of chairs and weaving of plastic bags, and undertook orders from friends and neighbours. Then in 1957 he joined the M. N. Bungee Industrial Home for the Blind at Jogeshwari, Bombay, where he received more elaborate training and where he has been living ever since. In 1959 Ferros got a job in the Tata Mills at Dadar in the packing and folding section on daily wages. He makes around Rs 400 a month. He is a conscientious worker and according to Mr. S. N. Roy, the personal manager, his work is entirely satisfactory. Mr. Roy says that it is his experience that blind workers are in no way inferior to their sighted colleagues, in fact they are often much better. As if to prove his point, Ferros won the award for the best physically handicapped employee of 1967-68. How much this reflects to his credit is clear when you stop to consider the amount of effort daily required of him. He reports to work all the way from home after a full day's work. Jogeshwari by train, returning pushed and jostled by the uncaring throng. But back home. He never sits idle. He is busy. Making plastic bags, very often just to present to friends and acquaintances. He refuses to be overwhelmed by his misfortunes as anyone would be even with one handicap, let alone three. He is full of life, full of fun and loves to hold long conversations with the help of his hearing aid. He even has time to think of others in trouble and has donated his blood to the blood bank. All of which goes to show that though Pharaoh's Kalkaria is certainly down, he is definitely not out. Sean Lin Kilang Radio Artist Principal, Ideal School for the Blind Imphal his voice is a familiar one to radio listeners of Imphal. 
For 12 years, Shonlin Kilong has been the radio station's musical supervisor, drawing up schedules and himself appearing frequently on programs. He can play 12 instruments, including the guitar, the mandolin, the accordion, the piano, the harmonium, the mouth organ, and the flute. His versatility ranges from light classical Indian music to Western pop. Apart from this job, Sean Lin also happens to be the president of the managing committee and the principal as well of the Ideal School for the Blind, Imphal, of which he was the founder. In 1973, with the active help and encouragement of Mrs. Geeta Krishnathri, the wife of the former Chief Secretary of the State. he succeeded in forming the all manipur blind persons welfare association with donations collected the school was started in the beginning there was no proper building no equipment no funds today with a little governmental help 35 blind people mostly adults are being taught reading writing crafts and music Shonlin hopes to start a sheltered workshop on the premises which would absorb the students after completion of their course. He deplores the fact that facilities available to the blind in our big cities are not within the reach of those in backward areas. He is both proud and sorry at the same time to say that he is probably the only educated blind person in all Manipur where there are around 3.500 other blind people. Born with defective vision he became completely blind within a week due to wrong medication prescribed by the village quack Having no such facilities nearby he had to go all the way to the Calcutta Blind School for his education Later on he graduated privately from Guwahati University and substituted as a teacher in his own school for a short spell Sean Lin's keen desire now is to proceed to the Perkins School for the Blind, USA, for further studies. Always naturally dressed, a fast talker and a fast worker, Sean Lin is a livewire who believes in personally getting things done. Happily married father of three, he likes to share his happiness by helping the poor, visiting the sick and plunging wholeheartedly into all forms of social service. Professor Manindra Krishna Kumar Head of Department of History Shippur Dinobandhu College Calcutta I was rebuffed repulsed fed with false promises and was denied even an interview anywhere When we are getting finished goods in the market why take damaged one say This was the heartless response received by Manindra Krishna Kumar a blind man in search of a job and this too in spite of the fact that he had been a brilliant student throughout his school and college career left a year old blind infant at the death of his father a renowned physician of calcutta who gave up a lucrative government practice to serve in his native village manindra was brought up by his mother and his uncles school in 1932 he grabbed every joining the calcutta blind opportunity that came his way and secured double promotion twice He did his BA examination with honors in history from St Paul's College, Calcutta, being awarded the Dorothy Crabtree Scholarship for postgraduate studies in 1947. He was 23. He was eager. He was ambitious. He wanted to blaze new trails. He dreamt of an administrative post in the IAS or perhaps in the Foreign Service Department. He was to learn after much heartbreak. how difficult it is for a blind person to secure employment for the time being he decided to continue with his studies and completed his ma with history from calcutta university in 1952 next he thought of venturing into journalism getting in touch with some publishers in college street i sold away my thoughts for a paltry sum he says a couple of such sales helped keep body and soul together and i not dissatisfied so long as it could be regarded as a stepping stone to higher things at last in 1956 he offered a lectureship in history at the shippur dinobundu college on a trial no pay basis for 3 months but he proved himself so capable that the authorities confirmed him within 6 months stating in the annual college report that though blind he had created an enviable reputation as a teacher Since 1969 he is the head of the department of history and senior professor 
He is also senior examiner, BA, History, Calcutta University, and examiner E, English, B, College, Shippur. As part of his work, Professor Krishna Kumar sets question papers, presides over debating societies and study circles, and edits the college magazine. He is an extremely popular lecturer because he enlivens his topics innumerable anecdotes with humorous quips and spirited discussions. He has worked for various publishing agencies and helped prepare school and college textbooks and guides. He writes articles for magazines, is extremely fond of reading and is interested in sports. He loves to correspond with pen friends in English, Hindi, Bengali, Odia and Assamese. Having taught himself typewriting he has a speed of 70 words per minute. Now he has settled down happily with his mother, his wife who is a Sangeet Prabhakar and a 14-year-old son who promises to be a chip of the old block. Hemant J. Patil Honorary Secretary National Association for the Blind, India